Can you answer this quiz question? Why can switch one not ping switch two? And why can switch two not ping switch one? I'm running the switches and the router in GNS3. Notice the IP addresses. So I'll do some show commands to show you the output. And then you can try and answer the question. So show IP interface brief shows us the IP address of the switch. Show run interface VLAN one as an example, shows us the IP address and subnet mask. Here are the IP addresses for the router. Show IP interface brief. IP address is this on gigabit 00. IP address is this on gigabit 01. So the IP addresses are configured correctly. Notice as an example, the switch can ping the router. So again, the switch can ping this IP address on the router. Switch one can ping router one. What about switch two? Show IP interface brief. IP address of the switch is configured as 10.1.2.1. Show run interface VLAN one. We can see the IP address and subnet mask of the switch. Can the switch ping the router? Yes, it can. But notice switch two is not able to ping switch one. And on switch one, switch one is not able to ping switch two. These two switches cannot ping each other. I'll show you the routing table of the switches. So show IP route. That's the IP routing table on switch one. Show IP route on switch two. That's the IP routing table on switch two. Why can these switches not ping each other? Why can switch one not ping switch two and switch two switch one? So it's difficult in a video to know which commands you would type, but have a look at the output and see if you can see where there are potential problems. You may say as an example that this is a problem. Gateway of last resort is not set. But notice when I type show run pipe include and let's include gateway. Notice the default gateway is configured on switch two, but switch two can still not ping switch one. But notice on switch one show IP route shows us that a default gateway is not configured. But notice if I type show run pipe include route, a static route is configured on switch one. So switch one has a static route, switch two has a default gateway, but they're not able to ping each other. Why is that? Once again, show IP route on switch one. That's what the IP routing table looks like. Show IP route on switch two. That's what the IP routing table looks like. Those are hints. Why is it not working? If you need more time to answer the question, please pause the video at this point. Otherwise, I'm now gonna explain why it's not working. Notice when we type show IP route on switch two, we see a routing table. But when we type show IP route on switch one, we see this message, ICMP redirect cache is empty. We can see that a default gateway is not configured on switch one, and a gateway of last resort is not configured on switch two. Now, what's the difference between these two? Notice firstly, on this side, we've got a default gateway configured. On this side, a default gateway has not been configured. A static default route has been configured. So again, on switch one, there's no default gateway, static route is configured. On switch two, a default gateway has been configured, but no static default route has been configured and yet it's not working, so why is that? So on switch one, as a hint, if you type show IP route and you see this, it means that IP routing has been disabled on the switch. When IP routing has been disabled, you need the command IP default gateway rather than a static default route to send traffic from a switch to its default gateway. So on this side, we now have a static default route that's not required and is not used. 
we have a default gateway now configured. So that's going to be used. On this side, we have the IP routing command enabled. So let me do that again. Show run pipe include route. Now it's not showing up in the output here. It typically would. If you type show IP route and you see this output, it means that IP routing is enabled. When you have IP routing enabled, you need to use a static default route to the default gateway to enable connectivity from one side to the other. So now hopefully it'll work and there you go. Switch two can ping switch one and switch one can ping switch two. So let me summarize what's, what's going on just to make sure that it's clear. Show run pipe include route. On this side, we have the static default route. It's not required because no IP routing has been enabled. You can see that by typing show IP route. If you see this in the output, so your routing table looks something like this, default gateway is, and it's set to something. Or as we saw previously, it wasn't set. And we see this ICMP redirect cache is empty. It means that IP routing has been disabled. So the gateway is now configured. We have a default gateway command, but we no longer have a static default route. So if I type show run pipe include route, we shouldn't see the default route in the routing table. We only see this command. So again, IP routing has been disabled on the switch. We need to use this command to specify the default gateway. However, on switch two, IP routing is enabled. You can see that because the routing table is displayed. The show IP route command shows us that we now have a static default route in the routing table. We didn't have that before. So scrolling up, notice the routing table displayed that a gateway of last resort was not set and there was no default route in the routing table. Once we configured a static default route, that became available in the IP routing table and a gateway of last resort was configured. That's because routing is enabled on the switch. Now, IP routing may or may not be enabled on your switch by default, it depends. So if I type IP routing here, if it's the default, it won't display in the output. And I'll just do that again. You'll notice that IP routing is not displayed in the output. Typically, non-default commands are displayed in the running configuration. So as you can see here on this switch, switch one, IP routing has been disabled. So the no IP routing command, which is a global configuration command is shown in the output here. And if I do a show run and then scroll down, notice that there's the no IP routing command. So the show IP route command displays like this when IP routing is disabled. When IP routing is disabled, it typically shows in the running config. Now this side still has the default gateway command. That command will not be used if IP routing is enabled on the switch. So I can remove that command and it will still work because IP routing is enabled. So as an example, switch two can still ping switch one and switch one can still ping switch two. Again, to summarize, show IP route shows us that IP routing is disabled. We can confirm that by typing show run pipe include and it should be show run pipe include route without the E, no IP routing is globally disabled on the switch. So typically IP routing is disabled on switches. You have to enable it. No IP routing will display in the configuration if that's not a default command. So IP routing is disabled here, default gateway set to this. That means basically if this command is enabled, you need the default gateway command. So IP default gateway. If I enable IP routing on the switch, notice the routing table changes 
and a gateway of last resort is not configured. So the switch will not be able to ping switch two. Even though we've got the IP default gateway command configured. So in other words, we've configured this command in global configuration. The switch is not able to ping remote subnets because IP routing is enabled. If I disable IP routing, notice how the routing table changes to this example here when I had IP routing enabled. So going up, I enabled IP routing, typed show IP route. Notice how that's different to what we have here when IP routing is disabled. Now the switch will be able to ping switch two. So make sure that you understand the difference. A static default route is only used when IP routing is enabled. The IP default gateway command is required when IP routing is not enabled on a switch. So you have two options. When IP routing is disabled, use the IP default gateway command. When IP routing is enabled, use a static default route. I'm David Bombal. Hopefully you're enjoying these quiz questions. If you are, please like this video. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wanna wish you all the very best.